Hi guys, in this video I will show you how we can use performance analytics formula indicators to create single score percentage reports in ServiceNow. Mm. To create single score percentage reports is otherwise not possible using simple reporting module. So let us get started. Let me just go to the performance analytics module. First, we will create one indicator source. Let the name of my indicator source be incidents.sla. Uh, we can give any description over here and we can specify the frequency like how frequently we want this particular data and how frequently this should be updated whether weekly, daily, monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, yearly, half yearly, six months and so on. This facts table is the table on which my query will be running like the conditions I need to give it here like for example I want this particular report for breached SLAs in incident table so what I will do is uh, in this case, I will select task underscore SLA table. And I will mention the condition over here as task type is incident. and I'll save my indicator source. Now my indicator source is created. So the next step is I will create automated indicators. My first automated indicator will be uh, which will give me the count of all the beast SLAs tickets. So in this case the frequency here as well I will select as daily unit I will select as count that is hash precision is zero let me select direction is minimize and the indicator source which we just created we can select it from here. Where is it? Yes, this one. So it will be count distinct in this case because if uh, there is a possibility in the task SLA table, there are two records for the same incident, like incident number one, two, three. First record for resolution SLA breach and the second record for response SLA breach. So in that case we don't want it to count those as two separate records. Those records should be counted as a single record. In this case that's why we will take aggregate as not count but count distinct. And on which field? It should be on task field. Value value is zero. Let me just go ahead and save my indicator. And let 
me think if I have missed anything in this particular indicator so let me just check additional conditions yes so here I want count of all the incidents which have reached I have already given the condition of task type as incident in my indicator source so here I will give the condition has reached is 2 and I will save my indicator now the second indicator which I need to create is which will give me the count of all the incidents here also frequency will be daily unit will be hash for count position is zero indicator source I need to select the same because they have given the condition already that task type is incident here as well I will select count distinct on field named task value when it is zero Here we can select this publish on scorecard so that the record uh, the single score which will come as the output will be published. If you want to see the real time score, you can also check this particular checkbox. Then there are other modules like uh, forecasting, collection periods, other access control. So depending on the requirement we use those modules. So let me just go ahead and save this particular indicator. Now as I am done with uh, creation of both the indicators, well, what I will do is I will just go ahead and create one formula indicator. I click on new over here and I will specify the name for my formula indicator direction I will select as minimize unit will be percentage in this case position is zero so now comes the formula part so in formula part uh, I need to make use of both the indicators which I just created so my first indicator will be uh, the one which is giving me the count of all the breached incidents so this is the one we just created so in this case remaining fields are not required I will just go ahead and select this one so as you can see on the screen like that report name uh, has come under the formula again I just use division mark because I just need to calculate the percentage over here now I am going to select my second indicator which I created and this is the one I guess which I created I'll go ahead and select and so I'll write in 200 like for example if uh, we have to calculate any percentage what we'll do is uh, whatever the marks received divided by total marks in 200 this is how we get a percentage so accordingly we have done here I have given the first indicator name is the total number of incidents reached second indicator how many number of incidents you are having and in 200 now what I'll do is I'll just check if anything else is required I want this to be published on scorecards 
forecasting is not required in this case since we are just displaying single score I'll just go ahead and save my indicator now let me just check back looking on show scorecard if at all this is working it is showing no score but we do have certain records in a table so what might be the reason for that let us go back to our automated indicators and check So we have not specified any kind of job here to collect the data for our indicators. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and create a job for both my indicators. I'll just click on new. I'll give the name of my job as incident data collection. Here we can specify like we want this to be start at a fixed start time or it should end at a fixed end time. That also we can give and we can mark it as relative as well. Relative start interval also we can set like it should be days ago, weeks ago, months ago. In this case, I'm taking it as days ago. It will be run as system administrator and it will run daily at this time. And I want this job to collect only scores, not indexes. So uh, now I just save my data collection job. And I can specify my indicators here as well. Or uh, I either what I can do is I can go to my indicators and select this particular job. Either way it will work. This is my one indicator and the second one is this one. Now I'll just click on execute now. And let me see if the data is collected. Yes, the state shows that the data has been collected. Now let me go back to my formula indicator and see if the data has been collected now. Yes, in this case it is displaying me the percentage. So 97% of the incidents currently which are present in this instance has breached. And this uh, formula indicator report I can attach to my dashboard as well in the form of a widget. So let me just directly jump onto my dashboard. I'll just open this one incidents dashboard and I will add widgets over here so here from the drop down I'll select performance analytics my report is of type score Then in this section, let me just select the score. 
once again and let me just select any one of them and add to my dashboard we can change the configurations after adding to the dashboard as well let me just edit this particular widget and select my formula indicator which I just created type will be score itself and I'm not changing anything else and I'll just click on update so I'm able to see the percentage of tickets breached using formula indicators performance analytics and service now thank you guys for watching this video